Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Alex Adores. Today's adventure, I am taking you to one of the most quaint seaside towns in all of New England, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Let's check it out. Okay, so one of the things that you have to do when you come to Portsmouth is stay at a and b There are so many fantastic ones to choose from and they're all so incredibly different and unique and most of them are housed in these unbelievable Victorian mansions. Now I have chosen what I think is the best of the best, which is the Hotel Portsmouth. Now this is a 138 year old Victorian mansion, but it has everything that you could ever need. It is so comfortable, it's incredibly luxurious, but it is still a charming B&B. Let's check it out. Beautiful, gorgeous fireplace. Don't know if it works, I don't think it does, but it is gorgeous to look at. And then I am on the corner, so there's tons of light, huge high ceilings. Oh yeah, TV, great little desk, just tons of room in here. And it's so cute, decorated, adorably, but look at this. I mean, I am literally on the corner in the middle of Old Town Portsmouth. It's so charming and absolutely adorable. Love this. And then nice little bathroom, great shower, and of course, had to do it. The tub, the clawfoot tub, absolutely beautiful. I love this room, it's great. Okay, so tonight I am eating at the Black Trumpet, which is by far one of the best restaurants in all of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. I am so excited to try this and I can't wait. Now it is actually named after the mushroom, which I think is so cool. And the chef is amazing. He's won like a billion James Beard awards. So I had very high expectations and they were definitely met. Literally the first thing I ordered was fried almonds. This thing had fried garlic, fried almonds, and fried olives, which is like the best thing in the world apparently, which I never knew existed. Okay, so then I had the fried squash blossoms. Wow, that was fantastic. So light, beautifully done. 
ricotta cheese, amazing. And then I had the fried eggplant. Oh my goodness, that was delicious, really interesting. Never had anything like that before. The other thing you have to order is the chef's plate. So it changes every night, so you never know what you're gonna get. I got this gorgeous ham and cheese sandwich, little tiny biscuit, beautiful. And then there was this like corn croquette. Then of course I had dessert, which was phenomenal. It was a vanilla almond cake. Oh my God, the crust was incredible. Absolutely beautiful. And then I decided to have a little dessert drink, which was a sangria, wildflower sangria. Oh Lordy, fantastic. Food's amazing, I'm so full, I can't wait to sleep. back in my spectacular room. I'm so excited. I, I mean, this room just makes me really happy. Like, look at how great it is. Super high ceilings, incredible, beautiful. Like, I'm really happy about it. So the fact is, is that this is such a great town to just come park your car as soon as you get here, anywhere you can, and just get on foot and start exploring by walking all over the place. There's so much incredible shopping and restaurants and everything. And it's so quaint and very charming and it's actually really small. So it's super accessible. And at the end of the day, when you eat as early as I do, you're ready to be like, let's wrap it up. And that's exactly what I'm doing tonight. I'm gonna have an early night and I'll see you tomorrow. decided to come to Portsmouth, New Hampshire, I really wanted to find the best version of a B&B &B because they are everywhere. And one is more interesting than the next one. The Hotel Portsmouth has absolutely blown me away. The service is incredible. It is so charming. It's so quaint. But the thing that I love so much about this B&B uh, &B is that on the outside, I mean, it's so gorgeous. It's so beautiful this big victorian mansion but then on the inside you have the absolute ultimate in luxury and comfort and elegance frankly you really have everything that you need of course the big screen tv i've got a claw foot bathtub it's absolutely gorgeous and the shower is amazing so i love those two elements together where you get the old world charm but then all of the luxury amenities that you could ask for to make your stay as comfortable as possible and frankly the king bed here is one of the most comfortable beds i have ever stayed in and more than anything the service here is so incredibly friendly they're so nice they're so accommodating and one of the best things i love about it it is 24 hours they do have someone here on staff 24 hours so if you need anything at all you just call downstairs and they've got a great little kitchen ice is available at any time and they have a great breakfast that you can really just you know it's just so comfortable and so inviting actually one really cool thing i arrived a little early and usually with bmbs they really need the time and you don't really want to check in until three or four which is usually the standard time but i got here around one because i was you know traveling and i landed and i said you know it's probably not going to be ready the room was ready they gave it right to me I couldn't be happier, so I got more time here to check in and relax and then start exploring the city. So that was really awesome. And most of all, it is in the heart of 
downtown. So you can explore all of the old town and all the little villages and you have literally all the restaurants and shopping right at your fingertips within minutes walking and the Strawberry Bank is literally two, three minutes walk away. So best location, incredible, beautiful place and very comfortable and amazing service. Highly recommend it. Something that is an absolute must when you come to Portsmouth is to visit Strawberry Bank. Now, when I first heard about it, I was like, it's bank with an E. So that's like Hill Bank. So basically what it is, is when this village was founded in 1630, they found this hillside that everyone wanted to live on because that's where the strawberries grew. So that's why it's called Strawberry Bank. And basically now it's been preserved as a museum of dozens of amazing Victorian houses from the 1600s that are totally preserved and it's turned into a museum. So it's super cool. And then one of them, one of the mansions, governor's mansion, had a garden and this is the garden and it is absolutely gorgeous. It is right on the water and it is so beautifully curated and taken care of. If you like gardens, flowers, or beautiful things, this is the place for you. places I've ever been you can just come here and look behind me there's the water and it's a real poor town I mean this is like really happening but these flowers are so beautiful and there's just people out here on the lawn just relaxing reading a book sitting under the trees thank goodness the weather is absolutely spectacular today so couldn't ask for a more perfect day to explore this, that's for sure. I have to say, I am not like, I love gardening, it's fun, but I don't take it seriously. I don't know anything real about it. But honestly, this one is kind of mind blowing because it's so organic, it's so natural. It's not like, it's, it's perfectly manicured in every way, but it still feels like someone personally is taking care of these flowers and it's absolutely beautiful. is amazing you have to visit the strawberry bank museum literally they just let you go they give you a five-minute orientation so you know where you are and what you're doing and then basically you just go and explore go in and out of these houses if you want to and they're all from different time periods actually they're all from either the 1800s 1700s all the way up to the 1950s they preserved all of these buildings to show how much this area has evolved in the past few hundred years pretty cool okay so this is definitely one of the coolest places i've ever seen in terms of literally like just diving right in to feel what it was like back then. It 
400 years ago. It's pretty amazing and they've done an incredible job of keeping everything beautifully intact and it's so nice to go to a museum where you can just take your time, see what you want, as little or as much as you want. Highly recommend the Strawberry Bank Museum. has really intrigued me about Portsmouth is again it's just this really charming little village the restaurant scene is again incredible to walk into these places and it's like literally walking into some big city restaurant because it feels that high-end and luxurious but they've also just created an atmosphere that is so welcoming and so warm and there is nothing pretentious about it at all. The black trumpet was such an incredible experience. Just the, the look of it, it's in this gorgeous brick structure that you know has been there for hundreds of years and it's right on the water and it's cozy and interesting and the service is incredible. I mean just amazing. It's just such a wonderful thing to be in a high-end restaurant and really feel taken care of really feel like your waiter wants to talk to you explain things to you tell you about the town and is excited about where he is and what he's doing and the town that he lives in i just love that to me that's what makes traveling like so much fun is to meet people like that people that love where they live and can't wait to tell you all about it to do when you come to New England is eat something called a popover. Okay, I had never heard of these before and I tried one, my first and only one in Maine and it was absolutely mind-blowing. I can't even really describe it other than it is a pastry that is a pillow of heaven that you put in your mouth and it's incredible. So I saw in my travels in Portsmouth a bakery called Popovers. Now when you see such a thing, you must go in and eat a popover. Now, funny thing, I went in and ordered a popover, a mini one, and my order got messed up and the girl just gave me a half a dozen humongous popovers. <laughs> um, it's my lucky day. <laughs> now, obviously there's no way I'm eating all these, so uh, I'm going to give them out in the hotel, but I am going to try the Portsmouth popover. Now this place was so crowded, tons of people all day long, line out the door. Obviously they know something serious. Oh, this is, I mean, it is a pillow of doughy heaven and it just breaks apart. Look at the inside of that. It is gorgeous. Now, she gave me butter, I think. I, I think this is butter. I don't really know. It's whipped something. And I said, do I, I put this on there? I feel like such an idiot because I don't know. And she goes, the popover, she literally said, the popover is a vessel to get this into your mouth. So there you go. That is so good. Oh, wow. So this butter has like a sweetness to it. Um, oh, I'm just stuffing it in my mouth. Um, but the inside of this is this, it's like a very egg-like texture. It's almost like a quiche kind of, but very, very light. Not heavy like a donut at all and not like a cake. It is his own heavenly creation. The popover, gorgeous. Now what am I gonna do with the rest of these? <laughs> so I can't eat them. <laughs> I don't even think I can eat this. This thing is the size of my head. Mm. Oh, 
I love bread. I love bread. I love bread. I love bread. So many things to do in this town. I'm so impressed with the vibrancy and the energy of this city. Um, the shopping's amazing. It's just endless, like it keeps going. And the greatest thing of all, there's no sales tax. It's the weirdest thing. I can't get used to it. It feels totally bizarre. Um, and it really does make you want to shop more. <laughs> Not that I need an excuse. First of all, I picked the best hotel I think that I could have found and had an incredible meal. I don't know why, but it, it feels so surprising to me to be visiting all these beautiful, small, charming towns. They're basically villages in New England, and you drop in, and the foodie scene is unbelievable. The chefs and the level of the food that they're serving, the menus that they're creating, are absolutely phenomenal. So again, here I've landed in a tiny seaside town of Portsmouth, and the food is incredible so i highly recommend coming here i've had an incredible time here and thank you guys for watching i'll see you soon